Oh my gosh. It's absolutely amazing. For over three years, Massey Hall was a work in progress, closed for much needed repairs and renovations. I mean, it feels like it got an incredible shine, <laughs> but it doesn't it's feel that different. You know, it's always a big event to come to Massey Hall. They met in a hurricane, standing in the shelter, out of the rain. She Jim Cuddy knows this room well. Blue Rodeo has performed here dozens of times. He's also been here as a fan, experiencing some of the hall's many legendary performances. I mean, I've seen some of my best shows up in the, up in the second balcony. Van Morrison from up there. Built in 1894 by Hart Massey as a gift to the city, many who have stepped into the world-renowned hall describe it as a warm, welcoming space. You talked about when you've come to see shows here in the past. What is it about this place that gives you that feeling of like, okay, this is, this is special? Yeah, you, you know that's the indescribable thing. I mean, you sit here and, and you just feel very comfortable. You know, it's like somebody's living room. There are some living rooms that are meant to impress and some that are, that are meant to, to you know, embrace. And you feel embraced when you come in here. Oh, it's a huge part of the magic. As Massey Hall CEO Jesse Kumagai explained, part of the goal of the renovations was keeping Canada's premier concert hall welcoming while increasing its versatility. The seats on the ground floor now slide under the stage for general admission shows. You can see the little tractors under there that will come out and pick up every row of seats. New elevators and seating locations have increased accessibility. Plus, the new stage is higher. Oh, man. What do you think of that? These are good seats. Isn't that great? <laughs> man. I mean, these used to be some of the worst seats in the house. Yeah, yeah. And now, I mean, just this like the relationship crazy. between performer and audience oh, is... Oh, wow. This is like truly being side stage. It's pretty great, isn't it? The other part of the magic of Massey was the sound. Even with the chicken wire covering the cracking plaster, there was something about the acoustics, the site for seminal shows like the greatest jazz concert ever, or Neil Young live at Massey Hall in 71, or Rush in 76. So before the hall closed, they took many measurements with the hall full and empty to capture the acoustics. We wanted to make sure that we were keeping that side of it right. exactly the way people remember it. And then for the artist experience, we wanted to make it a little bit easier. Of course, there's nothing easy about rescuing and renovating the historic hall, a process requiring the cooperation of three levels of government and a budget of over $184 million. It's more than down to the wire. As we waited for a pause in the construction noise, we sat down with the architect who made it happen, Marianne McKenna. We began with, you know, clear instructions from the musicians who loved this place that we were to change nothing, <laughs> fix everything, change nothing, which quickly went by the wayside that we had to move to uh, big improvements to improve everything about the place. For some parts, they took inspiration from history, uncovering and highlighting the flourishes that made Massey Hall stand out. The intricate plaster patterns on the ceiling and the luminous stained glass windows previously hidden behind plywood. Then there's the new part, a seven-story tower with rehearsal studios, a new performance venue, a bar, and yes, much needed bathrooms. But how to get there? enter the glass passerelles. You'll see people walking on the outside of the building, looking at those stained glass windows up close, and um, you know, it'll be a, a huge kind of experience to go back to the lobbies. As the familiar signs of Massey Hall spring back to life, the question remains, after the pandemic and all we've endured, will fans rush back to this shared space? The joy in the room, from just being with other people and remembering what it feels like to experience this together is, is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And so after a long hibernation, Massey Hall reopened. 
as the crowd jumped to their feet to welcome back the man who's played this stage more than any other, Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Already the schedule is filling up with the next wave of music makers, such as Majit Johnson, Mustafa the Poet, City in Color, and Tanya Tagak, each ready for their taste of the Massey magic. This is a post-COVID gift. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto. Think about the good things, how